Hello guys, welcome to my YouTube channel and today's topic is gone. Wait, what so are you what? doing here? This, this is, is my, my channel, channel I guess. Yeah, this is my channel as well, so I can also be here. It's not like okay. that, I cannot be here, right? I guess you have understood today's topic. So if you did, let's watch the video. guys welcome to my channel and if you are watching my videos like regularly i make video related to photos and videos so today's topic is how to clone yourself so this video is mostly consisting about the first half will be like about the photograph like how to clone using photoshop and the second part will be how to clone yourself using adobe premiere pro so like in the photoshop we'll be using the eraser button and the selection tool and for the premiere pro version we'll be using the masking tool so first of all import all of the photoshop images or all of the images that you have clicked now while shooting the photo you should make sure that you are shooting the photo by keeping it still in certain place like if i am shooting this video right now i am shooting in a tripod and i'll make sure that the three photos that i'll be clicking would be in the same place when i am shooting this whole video or the photo so while shooting the video or the photo make sure that the frame which you are capturing should be always the same like it should not move around because while editing this will help you in a lot of ways so this is the second part is import all of the three images to your photoshop so in photoshop you have to layer by layer put all of your the three images like the images the image that you will you now make will make it in focus you should keep it at the front like at the top and the next two images by one by one in there so after that slowly start editing your photo by removing the background that you are unnecessary or creating like try to create a selection around your subject and try to erase the background of the object also don't forget to click empty shot if there is any chances of error like you can put the mp shot at the behind and then you can edit your photos as well apart from that you are done with it now you have to make sure that all of the three images have the same contrast same like the shadows and the same color grading or the exposure okay so after that you are good to go now you can color grade it like you want and you can export and you are good to go with your clone image now for the video you have to shoot the video in two ways like the, for the first you have to shoot a single video then a, another video so like when you have shot both of the videos now you have to import it both in the premiere pro and then by using a masking tool slowly you mask out the any of the by putting both of the videos on your timer line while after you export it now put it in the timer line so you as you have shot all of your video in like in the same frame rate and the exposure so so by making a quick selection with a pen tool mask out the part which you need the rest will be unmasked so by this what happens you'll get a typical image typical clone but when you will look into the video clearly you can find out that there is a line so for that feather out the mask a bit so that it dissolves with your background or your the other video so again go to the lumetri panel set the exposure contrast so that you are left with no other uh, typical thing that can hamper your video and you're good to go with your video with your clone video if you did like the video don't forget to hit the like button and as always 
to like share and subscribe